What is up, y'all? So we back in here with another Stage of Your Media video. Today is gonna be, from what my brother says, a very simple video. Um, and I've seen kind of like what he was talking about. And he's gonna actually show me, uh, cause he's right there. He's gonna actually show me how to do this. We're gonna be installing the actual Brembo brakes on the G35. Now these brakes only work, This, at least this brake technique only works if you have the Brembo package on your uh, on your car, 350Z, G35. What I'm about to do to show you to take these brakes off really fast, well, my brother's gonna show me how to do it. Um, and you guys could translate this to your own, you know, car when you, when you wanna, you know, replace the brakes or whatever the case may be. So let's go through and let me sit down here so you can show me how to do this. So let's go. All right, so my brother's telling me now there's two pins that go that's inside of here, right here, right? That little hole. Um, it's two actual pins. They look like this, right? And they slide in here. Now, what you do is you take these pins out, right? You boop, boop. And then you get something thin. And then you got to pop it out with a hammer out this side. So this little lever piece right mm -hmm. here has to come out. Now, I did see some 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 uh, people were saying that you gotta do both of them almost at the same time, because if you try to pull one out, then you gotta take the other side because the other side develops a lot of tension. So, again, we're just trying to take a hammer and get it, you know, get it in there. See, like how that's slipping out? That's already starting to come out right back here. It's a very simple, boom, slide out right there. Right there. Oh, that's already sliding out. Just pull that shit out. <laughs> yeah, because the only thing that, that gives you pressure is this. Is that clip, yeah. That yeah, little... that clip. Be careful with that shit. That shit will fuck you up in your face. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I heard people take a, I saw the people take a flathead and you, you got to kind of shimmy. That, that box is open. Oh. Oh, you got those? Oh, you got the. Amazon, bro. I swear to God, you always have the right, right damn tools. Look at this shit. Look at this guy. Now, people, again, if you don't have a sophisticated tool like this, then you have to kind of go and get like a flathead and kind of mm -hmm. pry right, the pry yeah. the pistons out. But this guy, you know, he's a <laughs> fucking mechanic type type of dude, so he has tools for the job. And he just said you can get this from Amazon. Amazon for like twenty I've, bucks, I think. Look, I didn't even know this thing. This thing existed. <laughs> see, look, better. see now, now it released the mm -hmm. pressure. Yeah. So now what you're going to do now? Mm -hmm. You get to take out this side right here. Okay. See that just that just moved out. Yeah. Boom, see slid. this one came out. Not a problem. Look at that thinness on that yeah. too. By the way, you're gonna see how thin this looks compared to. The, oh oops. shit! The other one's over there. I'll pick them up. Push back a little bit more. Okay, those are good. So now, what you do is hammer that back, maybe. Play with this yeah, piece to piece. Let me see the back of that. Is that how that looks? That's how it's supposed to look, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now what you do, you can go like this. Okay. And push the piston back. Okay. Go, go with the flat side first. Right, right, right. And then try to get a, a good piece inside there. Right. And, then and do it slowly. Quiet, yeah, yeah, Do it yeah. slowly. You want to jam your finger. Go like that. Slowly. So the, whole, the whole key to this, y'all, is taking the piston. I'm glad I got my brother here to show y'all, because I'm, like I say, I, I don't claim to be no mechanic. I, I just know certain things on how to do certain things. Like this type of stuff, I would I would have been taking off the whole damn caliper now. So. Rembo's are like super easy. Right, see how, see how the piston's being pushed back? That's the piston, it's a two piston system. So you just gotta push the pistons back to be able to create that space that you need. And that's it. All right, All right that's the first one. Let me go get the actual brakes so I can show you guys the uh, actual brakes. This was the driver's, this uh -huh. is the inner part uh -huh. right here. Yeah. And this is the thicker side on this side. So yeah. on the back part, it was eating a lot oh, so, faster. So on this side. Yeah, this one here was yeah. eating a lot faster yeah. than the one in the front. Okay, okay. Okay. 
Well, we well, look, got. Look, yeah, look how it has cracks in it and everything, bro. Cracks. Oh, yeah. Heat warps. You can definitely see it a lot clearer on the camera. Yeah. A lot of heat warps and shit like that. Like I said, it's been a minute, bro, since yeah. I changed them. Yeah, these, these were the big. Fun fact if you guys didn't know, when my brother had his HR, I think it was a 2009, right? 2008. 2008 350Z Touring Edition 350Z, which had an HR motor that came with the full Brembo package and everything. So he ended up um, selling me his other ones, these for a really, really, really good price, actually, because they were going for like a thousand bucks for the whole system. He gave he sold it to me for a really good price. Um, and I never changed the brakes. These are the actual original brakes yeah, that I had on there that you that he had on this car, and he had that car years ago. We're talking. Probably. Oh my God! Maybe five, six, five, years, six, six years, years, years ago. ago. Yeah, about five, six years ago. I haven't changed these brakes <laughs> in five, six years, yo. Wow. So yeah, that's good that with the heavy driving. Heavy, we've been yeah, doing. we do we do a lot of heavy driving. So yeah, I got the actual good. Brembo brand brand <laughs> brakes, not some bullshit eBay or whatever. Again, no shade to anybody that does buy Brembo, you know, that buy brakes from eBay or whatever. But sometimes when you get when you have the real shit, you gotta you gotta put the real shit with it. And this how wow, it, this how it comes. Awesome. Yeah, it comes. I opened one. This the one that I opened. This is the one that came sealed here that I didn't open yet. Nice. Oh, perfect. And it got the grease. Oh, it, got the, it comes with the grease. So yeah. Oh, and it comes with a sticker. sticker. Yeah, yeah. It got the sticker oh, in there too. We should take that one off and put the you new think one I should? on. Hell yeah. Let's go for All it. Right, I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We I'm just gotta clean it. the front though. Unless you want to. Oh, clean but the you know back. what? It only comes with one though, bro. One. It only comes with one sticker. Oh. Man, that's gay. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Oh, they should have did that. That would have been dope. Uh, they only come with one. Oh well, you could buy, you could buy. Yeah, you can. You can buy the stickers at uh, Amazon. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's what I did for you're mine. Right. I thought we painted mine. You are right. Another thing I want to show you guys because I know you guys are real stickler for these like instructions and grease and all that shit. That it's a must so, on these rods. Yeah, yeah. So sand it down. Get a sander. You file it real smooth. Yeah. Because after a while, it does get cakey. Yeah, I see like what, it is, what yeah. it's doing right now. So now you get a file it. You, you sand it down with a uh, piece of uh, sanding paper. Want me to get Make that? Make sure it's smooth. I yeah. I think I have some. And I then you apply like this first before anything so it can be in and out. You yeah, don't have to worry about it. Yeah. You don't want to sand it down too much, obviously, because you want it to have some no, grip. Just at least smooth he, enough. He's right, because on the instructions here, look what it tells you right here. These are the instructions. Now, on the instructions, it tells you to put it on the back side of the brake, which is this side. Right, it tells you to put it on the red side okay, of the brake. Yeah, yeah. That way, it doesn't stop, so it can stop screeching. Yeah, or right. stop it from making squealing sounds. Mm -hmm. So on each side, you put the grease on it, and they give you one pack though for both. So you got to kind of be, you know, a little, maybe cut spread it in that, half yeah. and just kind of spread it the way you would normally nice. spread it. And then um, again, it says uh, never coat the friction material or the disc, and you just put it on the metal pieces, and that's it. So. I will be putting this grease on, guys. And this is how it comes directly from Brem uh, Brembo. It's the Be Quiet grease. So, yeah, let's keep so, going, y'all. We're gonna use a low power uh, Dremel just to kind of agitate, take some of that dust off. This is a really, really low power for anybody that's like, oh, don't do that or whatever. Trust me, this is this is nothing. All I'm doing is just agitating the the dirt that's on that's on the top. It's not warping it, it's not creating any dips or anything like that. I'm just gonna agitate and then when I'm done, I'm gonna just wipe it off. The good thing about it is that you're not constantly staying in one spot. That's a lot that's, that's it. where a lot of people that's mess up at. You know, you just that's good point. You're just swapping left and right, that's couple it. coats. That's it. That's next. all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. That's perfect. See? This is what this is how you do it though. Perfect. That's how you do it. I'm, I'm literally not even adding no pressure. No, no. I'm just letting it do its thing. As you guys can see my brother's putting on light coat, a, a light, light, a coat. light to generous coat on the uh, the red pads. Uh, Hold so on. Yeah, we're gonna put a. Yeah, yeah. That should be enough, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, because it's gonna eat away at it once we put yeah. it in. Yeah, you it still is. want some on the, on the edge as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I say, guys, just uh, 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 I get the I whole rod, coat. bro. No homo. Uh, no. Huh? I get the whole rod. <laughs> <laughs> no homo. Hey, yo, that wow. motherfucker saying he get the whole rod is nah, crazy nah, on nah, fucking nah. YouTube. <laughs> hey, your boy Wallin. Yeah, your boy. <laughs> yo, your boy Wallin. Yeah, they gonna be like, man, I know that's why he drive a Mustang. <laughs> don't, don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. Put it in there. 
you'll know once it locks in place when it's when yeah, it does yeah, that. Yeah, it still got to push in anyway, right? No, that's it. Once so, you hear that little clunk, that's it. It's oh, a that's, ball. It's a ball joint. So this a, this piece hangs out like yes. this. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so when you get so if let's say you don't got nothing mm -hmm. pointed to actually push it out all the way, you can grab oh, okay, vice okay. grips on this point, be gentle with it, and pull it up. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. Good with that. Guys, we in I, oh, we, did you put? Oh, we don't. We didn't need to put anything on there, right? Did we? No, you don't put anything okay. on that pin. Yeah, you don't want that bitch to slip out. Yeah. So we pop that in there. Yep. Boom. You're done with your first All one. All right. We got to put the last one in here. Um, where is it at, brother? You had it in your hand. I did. Oh, right. Here. Yeah, you can use whatever you got on that. Whatever's on your fingers, residue-wise. And see, guys, this is a very simple thing. This is just the first. And the only reason why we're taking so long to even do this is because I'm recording it for you guys. I'm giving you guys a step-by-step -step on how to do it um, for yourself. So this is just the front. This is the front passenger. Um, and like I, like I tell you guys with all my videos, I'm going to do the one side, show you, and, you know, show you guys the front and the rear when we do it. And there's no need for me to show you guys the, the other side of the car because it's the same kind of process. And once, I do the, once we get to the back and the rear, I'll show you guys, and then that'll be, that'll be the end of the video. And that's it. Brakes are changed on the front. The pins are in. Um, your plate right here that goes under. Make sure to always remember to put this plate on because you know you get so busy and trying to place, you know, replace the brakes that you may forget. Maybe even putting the the pins on or just make sure you keep your parts, you know, that you're taking off always by your side when you're taking these things off, man. Because I don't want y'all forgetting. Oh man, I left this plate on, and this plate is what keeps you know, the rods in, in place. And, you know, make sure the brakes are all on the same, you know, the same row alignment. So, all right, so that's the first one. We're gonna go ahead and take the rear off. And I'm gonna close out the video, guys, because like I say, I'm not gonna show you guys the second part on the other side. So once you guys figure this side out, translate all that to the other side too. So let's go. All right, guys, same same situation. You're taking out the same two pins that came in the car on the, on the caliper. You're taking out the same pins, same everything. Only this time, like my brother said before I turned the camera on, he's like, only this time you can't turn the wheel because it's the rear. So we're going to do the same process, same everything, guys. These should be able to come out without having to move the... Uh... There we go. Boom. Tiny-ass brakes. Viewing. Yeah, so it looks like he still has to move the piston yeah, on this one here because a little bit. But again, you got the right tools. Even if you got you got a flat here just to kind of push back the piston a little bit to give you the leverage to pull out the brake. It'll eventually come out. Again, these brakes haven't been changed in a while. Crazy enough, they actually they got, still got a little bit of meat on them. Now, how good they are in terms of like any cracks or anything like that, that remains to be seen, but they might, they still got some meat on them, man. He's using that, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just call it the brake separation tool, yeah. Pist the piston closer, I don't, there's a separator. I need to get that tool, bro. Because <laughs> when you're not around, I won't get it. Just in case. And that goes for every car, right? Yeah, any car. Okay, so yeah. BMW and everything. I'm definitely getting that. All right, tool. guys, and that's it. Put the rods in. The actual pin clips are in there. Again, maybe some of you guys ain't lucky enough to have this tool that my brother have, but if you don't, you could always still use a flathead um, just to kind of pry the pistons apart so that it can give you enough leverage to be able to slide the uh, the, the new brakes in. Um, and that's it. That's really like, if you guys really want to know how to change out your Brembo brakes on your car, whether it's 350, G35s, uh, that's how you do it. It's a very simple thing. The only thing you really got to take off is the damn tires. That's it. <laughs> Once you do that, you're good, you're golden. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and close out the video. And that's it. That's it, guys. So if anything, uh, again, like I always say, guys, be humble, be grateful. 
And the best thing you can do is stay driven. All right? Peace. One. <laughs>